Hello, my name is Janice Jones with Made For You Cards. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute basket using the scallop envelope die and the fun flowers die from the Big Shot. So let's get started. I'm going to bring my Big Shot over so you can see. And the first thing I'm going to use is the scallop envelope die. And you want to just put your paper in on top of the die and make a sandwich. You're going to have a cutting piece, a uh, cutting pad underneath and a cutting pad on the top and then you just roll it through your Big Shot. <clears throat> and then when you take it on, on the other side you're going to have this nice little envelope that is cut and scored and I'm going to set this aside while I use the other die. While I have the Big Shot here, I'm going to show you on the Fun Flowers die. It has one, two, three, four, one, two, three flowers and two centers that you can use. And I really, really like this die. Um, it is, it has been one that I've used over and over. And I'm going to put two pieces of Designer Series paper in the die with my two cutting pads and run it through the Big Shot. As I run it through, um, I like this die because it has a lot of different flower sizes and so when they come out you get both sides of your designer series paper in the different flower sizes which means that you can go through and um, rearrange them and make different flower images on a scrapbook page or a card or whatever project you want to use them on. So I set those aside. And then the next thing we're going to use is our um, scalloped envelope and I want to show you how it's scored. The, the envelope is scored on the side so that you have a little tab and then the bottom is scored and this is how you would traditionally use the scallop envelope. There's your envelope. Um, but what I'm going to do is build a box with it today. And what you're going to do with it, these little flaps, you're going to use those, and I already have one put together here. You're going to use those and attach, you're going to take four envelopes and attach them together by the flaps. And I've already put um, sticky tape on them. And if you'll, when you get to the last one, you want to just fold it over in the middle. And I put just a little adhesive there to hold it. And then I'm going to pull off my sticky tape on this side. And then fold it over. And I'm going to hold this up so you can see. You want your corners to just meet so that it'll bend in. So you can fold it in and there's no in-between so you have your completed box and on the bottom of the box you're going to fold in two flaps and then I've put a little bit of um, sticky tape on the edges and you only want to do the edges because if you put it in the middle the uh, sticky tape is going to stick to whatever you put inside your box um, and, and I found out that if you take your nail and scrape the top layer of the sticky tape, it comes off a lot easier. If you just take one edge of it and scrape it, and then you can get it started on the top to get it off. But the tacky tape is really um, tough, so if you put it in the wrong place, that's pretty much where it's going to stay. Okay, so. I'm just going to fold my two bottom layers down and stick them in. And then the next step that we're going to do, and I know you see these little flaps that don't look so nice, but we're going to cover those up. We're going to use another strip that is um, just 2 by 12, and unfortunately 12 won't go all the way around it, so I've cut another little piece, and what we're going to do is just attach it uh, matching up our design as best we can just so it's not real noticeable and we're going to put it around the box so that all those little edges are covered up 
And I think what I'm going to try to do with this one is put the seam in the middle of each side like that. Then you can just kind of fold it as you go around the box. And I did put it at the very bottom so that it was a little bit easier to attach it. And then as you, no as you notice it comes around to this last corner and then it's a little too long. And so I end up having a seam in the middle where my flower is going to cover it. And then a seam just right at the edge where you're not going to notice it. Okay? And so at this point we know we're going to have a flower here and we're going to have a flower over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these edges down all the way around. But I'm going to put some adhesive on these two so they'll stay down out of the way. And then that way I'll know those are the two edges I'm going to add my embellishments on. Um, and so now we're going to work on our embellishments for our box. And that's going to be the um, flowers that we've cut. And I have some that I've cut from a different pattern. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to build these flowers up. We could use these. Um, you can use any of them. You just want to build them up using the different sides until you get it the way you want it. And with this one, I've put uh, dimensionals just on the back so that all I have to do is just layer each little piece on top of the next one. And the dimensionals just give it a little pop off the box so it, it looks a little bigger than it is. Um, and so this one's just going to go in here one more time. There we go. Okay, and so then we're going to just layer it on here until we have it looking like that. And then I put dimensionals on the back. And so on each side of our box, we're going to add our pretty flower embellishment. And this is a great box to do for um, Mother's Day. It would be great. I even thought about if you left the handle off of it, you could put one of those little um, four inch pots in it or like a three inch, I think it's three. Yeah, it's a three inch square box. So you could put one of those little three inch pots, little potted plant in it for Mother's Day. Um, but okay, so then we're gonna end up with another flower on this side. So we need another dimensional. And I just put, I put three on each flower just to make sure they're not gonna come off. And so we're gonna put those on either side. And then we're gonna make our handle for the top. And that's going to go something like that. And the next thing we're going to do is I have some glossy white cardstock. I don't know if you can tell it's glossy. And I wanted to make my handle so that my humps line up across it. And since I'm using the scallop border punch, um, and I usually start in the middle, it's kind of hard to tell with an 11 inch, inch piece. So I started at one end. And what you do with the scallop ed edge punch is you just scoot it down until you have the scallops lined up. There's a little picture, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a little picture of humps here, the little scallops. And once you've cut your scallops, you just slide it down to match the next row of scallops until you have it all cut. And then, um, I have one that I've already done both sides of. And so you're just gonna go down one side and then go down the other side of it cutting your scallops until you have your handle. And then I thought it would be pretty to add just a little bit of designer series paper in the middle of our handle. And so we're just going to add this with a little adhesive. Just try to center it so you have your handle. And then we're going to take some more um, sticky tape, if I can find the end of it. Um, to attach it to our box because you don't want to pick up your box with a handle and have it jump off. Um, that's one thing that sticky tape is really good for is making things stay in place. Um, so we're just going to put some of this on either end so that we can attach it to the box. And when you pull the red part off the top of it, obviously it's going to be very sticky. So you want to make sure that you know where you're going to put it before you pull that off. 
if you can ever get it off. I love sticky tape, I really do. Um, it doesn't look like it at the moment, but I do. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to put my handle down here, just centered behind my flower, and then take the other side and do the same thing with it. And so then you have your handle and your little basket, and you can put some goodies in there. You could put grass or whatever in the bottom. Um, you could use this for Easter, Mother's Day, birthday. Um, you could decorate this little box in a million different ways. But that's just my take on it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned how uh, easy it is to make a box today or a basket. And I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.